Standard numbers are everywhere, but what do all these numbers mean for you? You may know that standards are guidelines that determine the way products are made and services are provided. But did you know that some standards may address work and working conditions? For example, as a hairdresser, you may be exposed to harmful dyes and other chemical products every day. Protective gloves that are compliant with standards can help protect you from chemical harm when at work. If you are looking for an internship in Europe, you may be interested to know that the ETUC, together with standardizers and employers, have worked on guidelines for quality internships. There are also standards for private security services that provide increased protection for workers and requirements for companies to respect labor and social laws. This includes collective labor agreements, as well as legal and internal policies for health and safety. Many cases of wrongdoing are raised by the organization's own workforce. In line with the European Whistleblower Protection Directive, there's an international standard that provides guidelines for organizations to take whistleblowers' concerns into consideration. Another standard ensures that older workers have access to meaningful work, training and adapted workplaces, because aging will shape the future of work. These are only a few examples of the standards the ETUC standardization project has been involved in. The ETUC has a say on standards. We work to strengthen the voice of trade unions in standardization to ensure that standards mean high quality working conditions that respect social partners' autonomy, safeguard collective agreements and encourage social dialogue. The ETUC ensures that standards are more than just numbers for workers.